this is Larry Williams, and it is indeed my pleasure to introduce you to the uh, most current uh, trading software for stock and future traders, TradeShark. I'm going to be showing you TradeShark today with some of my indicators. Old time indicators have been around a long time, but in new software. And some of these are unique to TradeShark. Let's first take a look at my electronic measure of accumulation going on in the marketplace. Now, it's real simple. I'm going to teach you how to use this indicator right here, right now. We're looking at uh, Google. And this works on, as you will see, futures as well as individual stocks. Notice Google is very strong in here, making a new high close. But look at what was going on in accumulation in the market. Non-existent. Accumulation should match price action. And on this rally, there was no accumulation. By the same token, when we made a new low down here, accumulation was actually higher than where it had been uh, prior. So there was divergence between price and accumulation. That's bullish, as you can see just as this is bearish, as you can see. That's one stock. Let me show you another. Now we're looking at IBM. Again, notice what happens on this little rally. It looks like a very impressive rally. Price literally fell out of bed. But the underscore view, the X-ray view of the market, my accumulation work, showed there was virtually no buying on this rally at all. It's no wonder it fell out of bed that much. Then IBM starts to rally. Why? Well, look at the big divergence between price action and accumulation. A lot of accumulation came into the market here, a little bit of a pullback. We're under accumulation in this market. It's time for it to rally, and it did. Accumulation is much stronger than price, and of course, we get a rally. That's stocks, but it also works in futures. Let me show you a couple right now. Soybeans have had one powerful move in May of 2013. Look what set it up. Look how price is much weaker here. It's back into these old lows, but not our accumulation technique. It's very, very bullish in the market. Just as before the big sell-off, price looked strong in this area, but the underpinnings, the accumulation of the market should know it was quite weak and we would expect a decline in the marketplace. That's how markets move. We can get an inside view into what's going on. Let's turn our attention next to the S&P E-minis. Uh, again, you can see the divergence that sets up between accumulation and price action, especially here. My gosh, markets look strong price was, but price can be so deceptive. We see there's really no accumulation going on in the marketplace. And in May 2011, prices came down precipitously until, look what happens, divergence in the marketplace. Going back to those old lows and new lows, but there's accumulation coming into this market and we rally. What a great tool this has been. By now, I'm certain you can spot the signals yourself. Here's a case of gold making new highs, but there's no accumulation. You would expect the market to decline, and it certainly did decline in late 2012 and almost all of 2013, the first half of the year. By the same token, this big rally that we saw in gold, what triggered it? Well, look what's going on in the marketplace. Price is weak in here. Accumulation is much stronger. Even on pullback, we see more accumulation coming into the marketplace until the market goes under distribution. So if you want an inside X-ray view of the marketplace, I can't think of a better place to find it than right here on TradeShark. This software works for stocks, at futures, and Forex, and I'll be showing you one of my very favorite setup tools in the market today, my professional sentiment index. Let me tell you a little bit about what this index does. When the line is above green, it means there's been a lot of professionals buying the market. In other words, the professionals are quite bullish on this market. We're looking at Google uh, right now. By the same token, when it's very low in here, the professionals are not interested in buying. They've actually been working the sell side of the market. Based on some formulas I've been working with over the years, how long? Well, since 1966, long time. So I have a lot of data with this particular indicator that is unique and is only available in TradeShark. So you get the idea, right? When the indicator is high, we want to be looking for buy signals because professionals have been buying this stock. When it's low, we want to be looking for sell signals in the marketplace. In other words, this is a setup tool. It's not a timing tool, but it's been a great setup tool. Let me show you some more examples. We're looking at IBM now, quite a different stock than Google, but by now you should understand the basic lesson. When professionals have been buying this market, they're at a high level of their purchases versus their total action in the marketplace, we should expect buy signals in the market to rally. By the same token, when it's very low, they have not been buying the market. I can actually measure their accumulation in the marketplace when they have a lot of their positions on the long side of the market, similar to the commitment to trade report. Well, you can see what typically happens 
uh, when they get on that side of the market, we most always, not always, of course, nothing is perfect in this business, but we most always do see declines and rallies based on the uh, intensity of the buying done by professionals. Now we're looking at gold. Remember the precipitous decline that we saw in March of 2013. Well, look what the professionals had been doing right prior to the decline. They were on the short side of the market. Then they started buying. The market rallied. Another big decline in the gold market. And sure enough, the professionals have gone back to the sell side of the marketplace. And again, it's not a specific timing tool, but to, at this point, if we get sell signals from technical short-term systems, we want to take sells up here. We want to take sells here. And we want to be a buyer. In other words, we have a setup tool that's predictive of what the market should be doing in the future. The nice thing about this, try this again. The nice thing about this technique, this indicator, is I've used it throughout the world. I've used it in China and Japan and Germany and Italy and South America, South Africa and America and Canada. It, it, it really is how professionals buy. That's what I've been able to crack and figure out their buying pattern in the marketplace. So when we see this at a high level, I want to take trend line breakouts to the upside. The market most likely will rally. And of course, when they've been selling, it most likely will decline. You can see again, this is so repetitive. The same formula that I'm using in this case for the euro currency. So it works for currencies. Uh, it works for um, uh, the E-minis. We'll take a look at the E-minis next. You can see when they're at that buy level, you definitely want to be taking buy signals in the marketplace, right? If one of your problems has been not having perspective in the marketplace, wondering should I be a buyer or a seller, why not be a buyer when the professionals are buying in the marketplace and a seller when the professionals are selling? Finally, we're going to be looking at soybeans. You can see what's going on here. Nice rally in soybeans in May 2013. Well, look what set it up. The professionals that have entered this market on the buy side, just as they were short up here, working the short side of the marketplace and long back here before this rally. Uh, and the rally we saw last year, November again, you can see they were in the high area. They were doing a lot of the buying in the marketplace was done by professionals and lo and behold, the market rallied. So that is my experience of how markets rally. Professionals really do make a difference. Here's the question. Do you want to be working on the side of the professionals or the side of the public? If you want to be working in the flow of what the professionals are doing, I think you're going to find the professional sentiment index invaluable and you'll see it only in trade charts.